These days, counting salmon nests is on the agenda for the Surrey and Area Branch of the PEI Wildlife Federation. Coordinator Fred Shivery explains what they are looking for. Atlantic salmon return to the same river they were born in to, to spawn. And when they swim upstream, they find a suitable cobble bottom with rock probably two to three inches in diameter. That's a, an indenture in the river bottom with her tail. She swishes it back and forth at rapid speeds and is able to take large volumes of rock and turn it over and make an indenture in the bottom of the river. Then she'll uh, excrete her eggs, the male will swim upside, apply the melt, and then she'll just go upstream a little bit and take the rocks and flip her tail and put the rocks over the top of the eggs and cause a, a kind of a nest. We Surrey Wildlife will probably walk, hopefully we'll get some volunteers, uh, we'll walk probably somewhere between 90 and 110 kilometers. Contact uh, Surrey Wildlife Office, uh, 687-4115 or my cell, 969-0819. Uh, we'll find some waiters. We've got a staff of probably three of us, potentially four, that uh, can be leaders. Each river, each red we find will be GPS'd, apply, GPSed, and that information, we finish that river, we take that GPS information, uh, give it to her, my assistant, Jill McPhee. She'll take those GPS coordinates of each red and put it in a map, and then we're able to show exactly where the the prime spawning areas are that uh, uh, salmon like to spawn in and to ensure any little we can tweak that river in those places to make it even better for the for the next generation of salmon. Okay.